to the play- never mind. Tyler's gonna start it. Never mind. Go no. ahead. Go ahead. Welcome everybody to the playbook. I'm Josh Randall. I'm Tyler Wright. Tyler, what do we got on tap for us today? First of all, we've got a uh, on this day in sports history. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that? Today, on this day, it's so April second. April second. So my birthday. Obviously, I'm 18 today. Oh, happy birthday! Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not going to be an adult until you're like 20. I can't do anything you're anyways because we're in quarantine. Adult, you're about as tiny as a. 13 year old hey, anyway. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be a bully. Anyways, April 2nd, 2019. We have an interesting stack. Go ahead. Yes. So on this day, I'll bring it up so you guys can see it as well. Mm-hmm. On this day, Russell Westbrook notched the second ever, right? Second ever, yeah. Second ever 20 stat line. And I'll show you guys right here. That's my face. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so anyways, yeah, 20 uh, – he had a triple-double, second player in NBA history to do this, a triple-double with every stat line at 20 points. I believe he had – yep, there it is, right right there for you. Perfect. Against the Lakers, too. Against the Lakers. Well, that's when the Lakers were, well, garbage. 20 points, 20 rebounds, and 21 That's assists. That's incredible. And if that doesn't prove that Russell Westbrook's been carrying that franchise for the past however many years, then, you know, I mean – Sure. Still never going to win a ring, but, I mean, let's just... Hey, yeah, yeah, they could this year. You don't know. Yeah, oh, Shane's going to carry it to, to a ring. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. All right, anyways. But I, find, I just find that cool that, like, I don't know. It's just, we've we've run out of things to talk about, so we're just going on about everyday history, sports. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, uh, who hasn't run out of things to talk about, essentially? True. There's not anyways, really... Tyler. A... So, Tyler, basically what we have on tap... Sports don't exist anymore, apparently, until further notice type thing. What sports, what leagues do you think will get canceled? You know, with the ones that are coming back, what do you think they're going to do? Like, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Well, I think that the sports world is going to, like, they, you know what they should do? I don't know. Can you see this? I can't see that. All right. Yeah. I think that they should go on about playing their sports in certain days. Okay, so Kingswood here, Kingswood, it's not here because we're, we're not at Kingswood right now, but they're going back on May 14th. I know they're not pro sports, but, like, they're starting with the small ones and then going bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. That's why I feel like maybe eventually – I don't know who it was, but did you see the first take episode where someone said that they should play the playoffs on cruise ships? Yeah, I was just reading about that earlier, actually. I mean, that's not a terrible idea, if I'm honest. But um, I mean, it'd still be kind of crazy, though, if you yeah, think it would, about it. Yeah, it would be crazy. But, uh, I mean, it's not an awful idea. It's not the worst I've heard. Um, True. Yeah, I don't know. NBA, I, de- I think, is definitely going to come back. I think, um, yeah. I think Oops. NBA is definitely going to come back. I feel like they have enough time for it to come back type thing. I mean, they're probably going to jump right in the playoffs, but, I mean, you can stop uh, showing the graphic if you want. Yep, there you go. Um, I think the NBA is going to jump right in the playoffs. I don't see how we could continue the regular season, honestly. I think MLB is probably likely to be canceled at this point, I think. I think especially, you know, with how postseason is going to work out after this is all said and done with, that's going to get pushed back probably into January and stuff like that at this point. Yeah. Um, I just don't see how it's possible to, to, uh, to continue MLB. Um, I don't either. NFL, I don't think, is going to get affected all that much. Um, I think MLS is going to get canceled specifically because of the fact that the amount of European players they have, the amount of you know people in attendance. I mean, an MLS game doesn't usually get more than like 20,000 attendance, but you know, at the same time, that's still a big number. And uh, I mean, it, it could be canceled, but at the same time, if they go through with the league, it's not going to be anything new if the league gets pushed back into, de- into uh, December. I mean, their championship games is played in December anyway, so... Um, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the only sport that really has the biggest chance of getting canceled right now is MLB. I feel like NHL might get canceled. Well, I mean, yeah, at this point, it's probably happen. I mean, they were they were late in their season anyway, so I mean. Yeah, you know. but that's why if they cancel it now, the Bruins would win it because they're the best record. They're already kind of late into the season as well. Yeah, I don't. This is the thing, though. I don't like the idea. Of- crowning champions like that, you know what I mean? The Spades off best yeah. record. I feel like it's kind of ridiculous, honestly. I mean, we saw last year the Bruins. Didn't the Bruins have the best record in the league last year, and they still lost Stanley Cup, so. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's kind of. Sure. 
I feel like that's kind of a ridiculous way to end the season, if I'm honest. Um, I don't think that's how the is. should do it. I mean, if you want to take if you want to take the two best teams and put them in a seven game series, and that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, I feel like if the NBA is going to do this. Pro- they're probably going to make their uh, if they they're probably when they do come back, they're going to jump right in the playoffs. I don't think they're going to cancel the league out, right? Um, I feel like all the rounds except conference finals and NBA finals are going to be five game series, possibly even shorter than that, maybe three game series. Who knows? It's definitely possible. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is a very weird time. I mean, we're obviously out of things to talk about. There's nothing's happening. Yeah. NFL free agency has pretty much died and is over with at this point. Cam Newton. No, is still, still waiting for Cam Newton. Happen. Well, yeah, we're still waiting for Cam Newton and Jameis Winston, and I feel like coronavirus is going to be over by the time Cam Newton finds a team. So, God, I hope so, man. I, I this think quarantine. This quarantine's getting out of I tell hand. You what, I tell you what, I tasted fresh air for like the first time in about a week and a half yesterday. It was the most amazing thing I've ever felt really? in my life. <laughs> yeah, I tasted it yesterday when I went out to work, and oh, I yeah, got I guarantee, yeah. I promise you that there was April Fool's jokes getting made yesterday. Really? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. But anyways, I mean, like, what do you think is going to happen with the NFL? I mean, the draft is kind of like it's done differently now. You know, I feel like the draft has kind of lost its spectacular element if it had one anyways. I mean, I think the NFL draft is one of the most boring things on planet Earth. I watched the first three. And I'm like, nope. Hmm. I think that uh, actually Wimbledon just got canceled yesterday. Um, so that's big news. That's really big news. Um but I think a lot of a lot of what the leagues are doing now is they're going to like Madden and uh, 2K Sim tournaments, and I feel like you know when they're inviting pro players to do that type of thing, it's still drawing an audience type thing. I mean, um, yeah. Bleacher Report has been doing the um, Madden Goat Sim for the past like week and a half to see what like best all time team is. I feel like that's very interesting. Um, I know Slam Magazine is like getting <laughs> NBA players and like top high school prospect. Uh, basketball players and they're all doing like cod tournaments and stuff like that i feel like that's really cool um you know any way that these like that these leagues can stay engaged with um you players. know with the, with the with the players with the fans any way that they can do that i feel like is probably the uh that's that's the best for everybody at this point um i do like watching all the uh the the uh the free sports on demand stuff i just got <laughs> nbc gold today for free for the next 30 days nfl Ooh. i can watch russell wilson throw game losing interceptions all right, wait, wait, hold, hold on. We're not going to be biased here. We're not going to be day, biased. All day, every day. No, I don't care right. if it's biased or not. It's a moment in sports history, and I can watch that moment whenever I want. Watch Russell Wilson. Oh, my god! Or Brady lose against Nick Foles in the Super Bowl. Or whatever the guy's name, coaching the 49ers, just blow it completely. Or you can watch Chiefs first Can't ever have. Super Bowl in 50 Can't years. Mm. It's, it's a lot harder to watch those games when you know the result. I feel like... Yeah. I honestly, I, I tried watching it, and I was like, I couldn't sit through that game any longer. It was one of those, like... Yesterday, I, start, I like, watched an old the old Yankees versus Red Sox game when they had Mookie Betts. Yeah. And, like, I knew the outcome. Cause I, it was, like, game four the, of the series. It wasn't the playoffs, but, like, game four, like, the actual regular season series. And the Yankees were, were going to sweep them. And I knew they were going to, so it was just I was just sitting there, like, okay, this is boring. I'm not going to watch this anymore. Yeah, I've been um, – NBA TV is, I, I think, very good. I was starting – I was watching the other day on uh, NBA TV was the um, – I believe it was the Mavericks versus Nuggets game. Was was I think it was the game – the game that – it was the same night that the uh, Utah Jazz OKC thing got uh, – whatever went down there with uh, Rudy Gobert yeah. um, contaminating the league. Um but like I was just, I was just watching. I was just watching, it and it was, it was ridiculous. Just like the change in atmosphere, like it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like sports. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like you could, like you could see, you could see like the intensity. Like the players weren't like as physical as they normally would be. Like nothing seemed right in the world at that point in time. I saw Luka Doncic airball two free throws. Um, yeah. Actually, no, he missed two technical free throws. But uh, no, that's about it. Oh. Uh, I mean, it's 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 hard it's hard to deal with. I mean, like, at least I can watch. Like, I think I think MLB, uh, whatever it's called, the MLB service. I think you can actually just go back and watch games on like the website or something like that for free. Yeah. And I feel like that's the only sport I can watch because of the fact that I don't know baseball and I don't know results that well. So. Yeah. Um, 
Like I, I know I, me I and like Matt and a couple others were talking about like to uh, bet on sport. Old, uh, we'll look up a random NBA game and bet on it. And then we were talking about how Pat would know every single one. So our friend was like, "Yeah, just don't include him because yeah, well, we'll yeah, know it." I mean, Pat. Pat's like the smartest sports guy in the world. But um, yeah, I feel like. Like that's what this results in now. You're betting oh, yeah. on games that's already gone. I've gotten so bored to the point I just put the CPU on both teams and then just watch it. I yeah, mean, that's honest, right. honestly, that's the only thing we can do at this point. But I mean, I tell you what, though, that's 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 a good game in Madden. I mean, I don't. I know. did the Chiefs versus the Patriots. Really, without Tom Brady or with Tom Brady? With Tom Brady. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah I think it was like fifty-seven to twenty. The Chiefs won it. <laughs> Yeah, you had sliders on, I guarantee it. Um, I did not have sliders on. Yeah, you did. I bet you did. I mean, nah. And I, I did it for NBA. I decided to go for the Warriors against the Knicks. The Knicks won that game. Yeah, I believe. I'm pretty sure they won in uh, real life as well in that game. The uh, the toilet bowl, per se. Of the, well, the, uh, they have they have Clay Thompson and stuff in the actual game. Cause oh, yeah. Well, that NBA's really canceled, so they have all the action. Not canceled, suspended. So they have all of the players that aren't injured in the game. Mm-hmm. Imagine Steph Curry being injured for the whole season and then coming back and playing one week. Or actually, like, less than... One game. He played one played game. One game. That's about it. Pretty sure he played one game. Yeah, he played, like, one or two games, and then the league just died. He was supposed to play a game. I remember what happened. The, they were supposed to play a game, I think it was that Thursday, against Milwaukee, but um, Chase Center was going to be behind closed doors. And then, um, yeah. you know, that, that night with OKC and... Uh, Utah, that that all went down. So yeah, Curry only played one game. I think ha- how many games did he play in total this season? It was only like five. five. Yeah, ridiculous. He played four amazing. games and broke his hand. Yeah, amazing. But um, anyway, I mean, for N- for NBA, like, what do you think is going to happen with Rookie of the Year? I mean, what do you think should happen? Because we were just talking about this on our own time uh, recently. Um, I think if they have they have to cancel the league right now, that Zion won't win it. I feel I feel like they're not gonna give him another chance next year because he did he he could have sat out this entire year and pulled the Ben Simmons and then win it next year. Okay, but, but he, that was his choice to come back when he's only played half the season. You're not gonna win the okay, award but, when you play half but the even Ben Simmons doing that was such a very controversial thing. Like I remember, so many people were talking about why Ben Simmons was doing it. Should he be allowed to do it? And I feel like Zion should get that other chance simply because of the fact that yeah, the job deserves it though. Oh, no, yeah, you can give it to Jaw this year. That's fine. I just want Zion yeah. next year. I want him to pull ben Simmons, ben Simmons. But, like, I think especially because of the fact that Zion has Zion only really played, like, less than three weeks of games before the league stopped. And I feel like, you know, I feel like if you're going to give it to Jaw at that point, then Zion wasn't really, like, even – that wasn't very fair towards Zion. But I can see – I can see either side of the argument, but – um. Yeah. yeah, I think Zion should be allowed to come back next year as a rookie, specifically because of the fact that there's not going to be a lot of rookies in uh, this draft class. I feel like the fact that the coronavirus stopped, March Madness stopped all these guys' uh, seasons in college basketball, I feel like this draft class... I heard long. that there was a rumor that they might continue in May, but it's yeah. very, 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 very unlikely. I mean, it's possible. I mean, college like gets out in May, doesn't it? Like, late May. Yeah. So... I mean, it's possible. I'd like to see that. Um, I'd like to see a March Madness in May as opposed to March Sadness. But, um, you know, who wouldn't? <laughs> we need NCAA football and basketball games back. That's the only way this is, this uh, can be made right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's going to be ridiculous. I mean, for the rest of the day, I'm probably just going to watch NBA TV or something like that. Just reminisce about the days when life was normal about three, four weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine yeah. imagine us for like three weeks and it was like we were like, Oh, it's gonna be fine, nothing's gonna happen to us, we're not gonna get affected whatsoever. And then all of a sudden we're here. I'm in studio J, you're in studio uh T. So yeah. That's yeah, that's about that's about how it goes, isn't it? We're all saying, Oh, I hope school is canceled, blah blah blah. Now do you miss school? Do I? Yeah. It feels like I have less free blocks with this uh it feels like I have less free time for some reason. Yeah, it I don't does, know it why. It does. I mean, I just miss sports. I couldn't care. I mean, if I was in, like, if I still had school canceled, but sports would still exist, I'd be fine with it. But, you know. I just, they can't have, I they mean, can't. I know this isn't really based on the sports, but, like, 
it's kind of ruining people's lives. Like, yeah, it's ruining like sports people's lives. Like, commentary, like lives. people are dying from it. Okay, you know what I mean. Like, first take, they don't have a lot to talk about anymore. We don't have a lot to talk about anymore. Like, well, well they've been just talking about like past stuff. Like, um, what were they talking about the other day? Uh, they were talking about. I mean, the Michael Jordan documentary is coming out like ten days early or something like that because of the fact the April nineteenth uh, coronavirus exists. Um, so I think that's really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is just a really weird time. I mean, there's so many events getting canceled, like in the future that, you know, like Kentucky Derby got canceled. Indy 500 got canceled. All these things are getting canceled, like way far in advance. And I think it's really strange. I mean, I don't know. It's really weird. I, I feel like this is like, this is the strangest time in sports history for sure. hundred percent. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just rem- I just remember watching the broadcast on NBA TV of like Mavericks versus Nuggets and just like feeling and like I was like knowing I was like, this is the day that sports died. This is the day that everybody everything went to sleep and the world just like stopped turning. I guess is uh I guess the right word. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it's it's weird. Like you never think that sports are like a big part of your life, like at our age and stuff. But like, now that since we do like this kind of work, it's like a big part of us and like we have nothing to do now yeah, you never you never realize how good you had it until it's gone i yeah. feel like um There's what, I will say, though, that. what i will say though is that the players now are um and no matter what league you're going to these players are donating ridiculous amounts of money which they should be doing in the first place if you ask me i mean these players should be donating to charity whenever, whenever they can but i mean Special circuit, whatever they're donating money that's what's important but i mean yeah. i think that i think that's really good to see i th- i feel like we're seeing these teams and these leagues covering their worker salaries, you know, the uh, arena employees and stuff like that. I feel like that's a really, that's a really good thing, especially for like all these people who are living paycheck to paycheck working for these teams and now aren't going to have that opportunity. I feel like that's really good. Um, I mean, I, I, I just saw the um, two days ago, three days ago at this point, um, Manchester city, the soccer team in uh, Manchester, England is now, letting the NHS, which I think is like the national like health society or something in England like that, letting them use their stadium for like testing and like shelter and stuff like that. Well, I mean, whatever it may be, I'm not really sure exactly, but um, they're letting them use their stadium. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's, it's really weird. Like we can't, like we can't even go down to the park and play basketball. Like so, so strange. I don't know. This is like, the only time I ever leave my house is when I take my dog for a walk for gym class. Like, that's it. I walk around the yard, really. I can't oh, go anywhere else. Um, yeah, no, I think it's really weird. I mean, we've made it one day in April without uh, the world ending, so. It's the first day in April. It's, it's, it's not over yet. It's, 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 it's not, not over. over. It's Actually, not yeah, over it has. Yet. Yeah, yeah no, my, we have made a day. Okay, well, you you ruined our seamless continuity. <laughs> I'm so confused for you. what's happening right now. Yeah, today okay, is so, today's April second. Okay, yes, today's April second. You, but you've. I'm so confused. What are you talking about? You ruined it. We I'm were, 18, we, boy. We, we were playing that April, 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 April first when we're recording this because it's coming out tomorrow on Thursday. Well, but fun. just the way that you said it, yes, it is. You ruined it. <laughs> No, today you is literally like, April. No, 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 no. I turned 18 it? today. No. How you said it was like, oh, well, we've made it through one, the one day's not over yet. There's still time left. I was like, we, I was like, we've made it one day through April, and you were like, no, nah, it's not over yet. And I was like, I mean, it technically it hasn't been 24 big hours if you think about it. That's our that's our surprise. We've been lying to you this whole time. No, because it's not when we when if we recorded yesterday. Or when we had class yesterday, it has not been 24 hours. Therefore, my screen is going dark. I'm gonna grab my charger. I mean, I think I. How many? How long have we been talking? Okay, okay, just leave. All right, that works. Uh, today it's like what? Uh, about like 20 minutes. All right, so we should wrap stuff up soon. I'd say. Yeah. Way to uh leave set, Tyler. Should be prepared beforehand, but um, you know. You know what, Josh? Sorry, I have a computer and not a phone. Happy early birthday and not late. Not late. Today's April 2nd. We've gone it over this. Second. Anyways, that's going to be all for us today. I'm Josh Randall.
I'm Tyler Wright, 18 year old today. And we will see you next time. Peace out. Adios, guys.